Hey guys, how's it going? Jen here from the Bowls Boutique with some styling tips and tricks on how you can wear your Irmas. So the jig is up, like it's an Irma. Irma styling is our style of the week. So this is how you can win a purse in the Bowls Boutique this week by showing us all of your super cute ways that you're gonna wear an Irma for the next seven days. Um, you earn points in the boutique for, let's see, style of the week. Post, okay. So when you're here, say hey. I'm watching. Hey, Kristen. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, hi. I can't see your comments as well, but I will be able to see them. So going to go through the multitude of different ways that I have that you can wear an Irma. So an Irma is a tunic top. Um, you can see it has a fitted sleeve here. Okay. It has kind of a boat neck top. Hi, Jamie. And then this part here is nice and loose and flowy um, and long. So it covers my leggings in the front. It also covers in the back. It has a super long back, which I love. So I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can wear an Irma. Pick your favorites this week. Wear them, style them, take pictures of them, post them in the group. Every time you do that, post pictures of them, comment on pictures of people wearing Irmas. Um, you are going to get points towards winning one of our amazing purses we have left. We have three purses left um, for pick a purse. And I want to know which one tonight that you see is your favorite. Uh, a lot of people just wear Irma like this, over leggings. This is what they know how to do. You wear it over leggings and then you're done. But I, there's actually seven different ways that you can style an Irma top and have this all kinds of variety. So I have this one top that I'm going to show you seven different things you can do with it. So tonight, um, this is number one, over leggings. Okay, whichever one's done, raise your hand, say yes, I've done number one, I have worn an Irma with leggings. So next, um, I have to change very quickly without anyone seeing, and there's a multitude of different angles. So we're going to try and get through this. Um, next one I'm going to show you, we'll do this, this is the easiest thing to change into, is a maxi skirt. So maxi was our style of the week. Um, last time we did this, ugh, there we go. So I'm going to pull her up over my leggings. So you can do this two different ways. I don't really like to do my Irma's tucked in on a maxi because I feel like the maxi doesn't lay, the Irma doesn't lay well underneath the Irma. So you can do this, but I'm not counting it as one of my seven, okay? Because I don't like it and I probably would not wear it this way. I have undershirt on, guys. So we can take our Irma and you're going to pull it. I'll do it again. It was long. I kind of grab the bottoms here to kind of ruch it up and then I'm going to pull it tight so that it's even around so I no longer have long in the back. And we all, if you were alive in the 80s, know how to tie up like a scrunchie a shirt because this was what we did, right? Who did this? Who tied up their shirts in the 80s? Because I did. That was the thing. So then you tie it up. Super cute look with a maxi skirt. This is number two, okay? And it's a nice fitted top for a nice sleek look with your maxi skirts, okay? So this is style number two, okay? I have leggings on underneath this, remember? Although my stomach is right there. Okay, next, let's see. These two are gonna be the hardest and I'm gonna save that one. So this one is very similar. This is an azure skirt. Okay, so an azure skirt is just like a maxi. Yes, I'm going to see how many different layers I can get on at once. So an azure skirt is just like a maxi, right? Um, but it's shorter. 
Okay, so if you, that's my stomach, if you are liking shorter skirts, you like to what, like rock it with boots, okay? Woohoo! Okay. Tied up just the same over an azure. Which would you do, you think? Azure? Or do you think that you would do it with a maxi? I'm going to see if I can get my leggings off so you can see this. Ha ha! <sighs> That's what multiple years of show choir in high school will get you, y'all. You can change your clothes and not show anything. So here we are, number three. Irma tied up over azure. Super cute, fun little skirt, this azure. And I really like this, so... Who, what would you guys do? Do you prefer Maxi or Azure? I'm very curious to know which one, Maxi or Azure. So next, I had a list and I like wrote it all down and then we started moving things. I'm pretty sure it's way over there on the floor. Facebook is super behind you, but that looks really cute. I just saw what it looked like over there. So I like Jamie, she says both. Okay, so next to show you in our skirt realm, is a Madison, same thing, tied up. Because, I mean, these flare skirts like this, we don't want another big bulky top necessarily over it. It will not give you any shape. By tying up the Irma like this, it's going to give you that waist back, okay, that we didn't need when we were wearing it with leggings. Are you liking this like quick o change thing I got going on here? We didn't need that with the leggings because the leggings were showing our, our thin part of our body, right? Okay, so I've got my Madison all the way up. There we go. Okay, look number four. I'm pretty proud of myself right now getting through this, okay? <laughs> look number four, Madison skirt, pockets, hello love oh by the way each of these pieces you see how they all have tags i literally just pulled all of these off the rack every single one of these are available tonight if you would like this entire styling with irma it comes with a gift i'm just saying but look number four is one of my faves this is one of my favorite ways to wear madison is with a tied up irma i don't know what it is but this longer sleeve look with the cute pockets and the fun. If you guys saw a couple, um, like Karen wore hers this way um, last week. If you come into the boutique, this is how I will help you style your Irma. I love this one. One of my absolute favorites. Okay, next. Okay, one more skirt. Here we go. This is number five is a Cassie. Okay, now Cassie, you know how I was talking about, I tie this up to give you a shape because this pulls it in and then this flares out. Same with the Azure skirt, flares out, maxi skirt, okay? But with leggings, we leave it loose because the leggings gives the slimmer look. We don't really want to wear two really loose fitting things with a to loose top and a loose bottom because then you tend to have no shape. And we like our shapes, ladies, no matter what shape you are. Apple, pear, hourglass, balls, squares, who cares what shape you are. The shape that you are is beautiful and amazing and we will help you find the best way to do that. So I untie, technically you could do that with the Madison, I'm just not a fan, right? Because see, I don't really have any shape. But you could do it. I'm just not a fan. All right, I have my maxi skirt, my maxi skirt, my Cassie skirt on. This is look one, two, three. This is look number five. Do, do, do. Presto changeo, look number five. Look number five, we have Irma over Cassie. If you are afraid to try a Cassie skirt, this is the way to try a Cassie skirt. You try her with Irma because I have had two children, I have had two C-sections. I have the mom bod, and I love my mom bod sometimes, but sometimes I wanna cover her up. So I do that with an Irma, 
and it covers this section right here that I'm not totally comfortable with. Okay, and I know a lot of women aren't comfortable with this and bam, covered it with my Irma, loose Irma, like tunic top, can't tell, but pencil skirts makes my caboose look amazing, y'all, I'm just saying. Jack loves this skirt. I think he wants me to wear Cassie skirts every day of my life. Just saying. This is number five over a Cassie skirt. So I wear this one loose. They do not tie it up. You can pull it up to show off the patookas or you can cover. Whichever you prefer. Okay, but like I said, the Cassie is the slimming part and the tunic is the loose top. Number five. How many of you would try, how many of you have not tried Cassie, but you would try Cassie like this? Um, right? Jamie's saying she wears Irma over Cassie all the time. Now these I actually have to change because these go underneath Irma and I just can't. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so one second. Do, do, do. I have had the weirdest songs stuck in my head today, and I feel like I should sing them for you, but now I can't remember what they are. But I know that they're all from Sid the Science Kid. Okay. Take this one off. And next, number six is a Carly. All right, so here's my Carly. Bam. Now, I love doing this one because many of you know I've lost a significant amount of weight over the last couple years. I'm down 70 pounds from where I was. And I have some beautiful clothes that I really, really love that are too big. So I am now in a small or even an extra small. Like you can see, this one's a little big. This is a small. I wear an extra small Carly and some of the Carly's in my closet are larges. And they're just, they're, they're a little frumpy. They're a little too big. However, if I belt it, it totally works. So I'm gonna make this Irma work like my belt. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on just how I was wearing it with the Maxi and the Madison and the Azure over my Carly. Those of you up in the Northeast should do this because this is layering and y'all are cold because you're crazy and live where it snows. Um, so we just get it situated here. I do like, I have a pop of the, um, a little pop of the pattern. So we're going to do the same thing. Reach behind, get it level, pull, and tie it like we're 1989. All right. There we go. Irma, Bam. Over Carly, number six. Ah, and I mean, it's great because it turns this Carly into a really cute skirt. It almost like works like a Madison, except for we don't have the pockets. Just wait until we have Jesse's in stock. Um, but I, I love that it breaks up the pattern. So if you see a pattern that you love in Carly and you're like, it's just, or it's just a little too much for you, this is a really great way to kind of tone it down and break it up. Okay. Or to jazz up a solid Carly. If you were to switch this and do a patterned Irma with a solid Carly, do you understand? So who likes number six, who would totally try this? Love it. Do you love it? All right. Last one. Get ready because you do need to try this, Jamie. Um, this is the last one. And this is a style that many of you do not like and have never done. And I'm going to see if I can convince you to try it. Do, do. Um, I was thinking of starting a coffee talk in the mornings with y'all. If I was to do that, how early would I have to do it? Like if we were going to have a chat, like how we, you know, you know, I haven't done a real chat in a really haha, long time. So if I was going to do a real chat, 
but in the mornings, in just a few minutes, no more than 10 minutes, I would actually set a timer every morning. How early would I have to get up to do that so you could actually watch it before you like started working? Okay, here it is. The style that many of you have never tried. This is a Julia dress. I love Julia. I'm in a large Julia, you guys. It just makes me feel really good about myself because I was in a 2XL Julia. And this is a large Julia and I think I rock her. I have curves, I have mom hips, I don't care, I rock it. But I know a lot of you are uncomfortable with this and how she is a tighter fitting dress. Okay, and I fully understand that and would never push you to try her. Sorry, my Facebook thing just freaked out because it's Jack's phone, so I have to hurry. Um, I would never push someone to try her who wouldn't be comfortable with this type of dress. However, if there's a print that I get in Julia and you're like, oh, I really want to try that. Try her with an Irma. Okay, so we're going to put our Irma over our Julia. Again, you're going to get um, maybe a little peak of the print up here, which is kind of cute, but look covers up the parts that we're not comfortable with. And now it looks like I'm wearing an Irma with a Cassie skirt. What? I know that should be a GIF right there. Someone needs to cut that right there and make a GIF out of it. Okay. Lucky number seven, Julia with Irma. If this is something you want to try, tell me, I'm going to hook you up with a deal, Irma and a Julia package. Um, probably going to throw in some accessories and maybe even free shipping. So what do you think? Which one's your favorite? Number one, Irma over leggings. I have to look at my pile. Number two, Irma with Maxi. Number three, Irma with Azure. Number four, Irma with Madison. Number five, Irma over Cassie. Number six, Irma tied over Carly. And number seven, Irma over Julia. I mean, it's tunic top. It's meant to be loose and forgiving and like this is like mom, like wardrobe right here. Love this so much. Okay. I hope you guys are excited about style of the week. I'm gonna get the post up here in about 10 minutes of the details and the points and how it works. And this is coinciding with Hot Mess Mom in April. Okay guys, so many exciting things happening this month because I've got huge goals and huge things happening. I think I'm gonna try a coffee chat with you guys tomorrow morning and um, let you know all about it, okay? So I'm going to scroll through my comments finally from you guys. 6 a.m., Jamie, I love you, but I don't think I'm getting up at 6 a.m. to do a coffee chat. Um, Kristen, you have not tried Cassie. You haven't tried Cassie. But I'm coming over here and we're going to, whoa, not touch that again. Because, hey, cat. Madison, be like tied it up with anything, right? It's super cute, tied up. Hey, Stacy. So I want you guys to have an amazing night. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, now the angle is weird. Let me know which one is your favorite. And like I said, all of these pieces are available. Look out for an Irma album going up tomorrow on our website. I'm back. Look for an album coming tomorrow on our website and um, on our Facebook page. Go to www.thebowlsboutique.com. You'll see it all. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the business page. Bye, guys.